All right, so we're going to do some reflections in the X and Y axis using uh, matrix transformation. So a pretty simple idea. This is our original figure here. We're going to reflect it in the X axis like that, or we're going to reflect it in the Y axis like that. So if this was A, B, and B and C, then this would be A dash, this would be B dash, and this would be C dash. Or uh, this would be A dash, this would be C dash, and this would be B dash here, depending on how we're reflecting it. So we're going to reflect that using matrices. I'm going to do it with my handy little matrix here. Now, um, here's my figure that I'm going to reflect. Now, let's think about this for a minute. First of all, let's try reflecting this uh, in the x-axis. I'm going to take it from top and we're going to flip it down to the bottom. Now, what, are we, what would that look like? Well, this blue dot, this um, 0, 1 that we've been so interested in, if I wanted to reflect 0, 1, I would have to change that to not 0, 1, but 0, negative 1. And that's exactly what we do here. And you can see by doing exactly that, we've flipped our image. We've gone from here down across that x-axis. Just by considering that blue dot, that's really the key to all of this function transformation. Consider the point zero, 01. Consider what you would have to do to the point zero, 01 to make it look like what you want it to look like. So back to our original here. If you want to reflect in the y-axis, we're going to take this orange dot here, this one zero, and we're going to reflect it so it becomes a negative one, negative one zero. And you can see we get a nice reflection there. Um, so again, those points zero one and one zero, really they guide your thinking when it comes to these uh, reflections. So here's kind of a summary. If you want to reflect in the x-axis, here's your transformation matrix. If you want to reflect in your y-axis, this is your transformation matrix right there. I reckon we're done there. Uh, that's reflections in the x and y-axis using matrix transformations. I could go through some examples, but they're not going to be very special here. We just multiply by this matrix and that gives us our new 